Now to the race for 2012. President Obama is going to Iowa today, though it's not a political trip, according to the White House. Sarah Palin is also going there, too, raising new speculation about her future. CBS News political correspondent Jan Crawford is in Pella, Iowa, with the latest. Good morning, Jan. Well, good morning, Rebecca. Well, here at the Pella Opera House, it is movie night tonight. The premiere of The Undefeated, that new movie about the life and leadership of Sarah Palin. And the Alaska governor will be here to watch it. Politicians can't come to Iowa without raising questions about whether they're running for president. For Sarah Palin, it's been all about that question. Sarah Palin, are you running? Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be running yet. After her much-hyped bus tour, the former Alaska governor's intentions remain unclear. But her decision to attend the movie in this key state can't help but get people speculating. I think she's genuinely undecided, and that's, that's really hard for people to sort of grasp. I mean, traditionally politicians make up their minds about this and they play coy. But I think she's really still thinking this through. Also in the state today, the man Palin could be taking on if she decides to run. President Obama will be just a few hours down the road in Bettendorf, touring a factory and pushing his case for manufacturing jobs. It's part of his effort to shore up his approval ratings with voters dissatisfied by how he's handling the economy as he seeks a second term. But the appearances by Palin and Obama are unlikely to dampen the shine of the state's star of the moment, Michelle Bachman. She's riding high on strong poll numbers and a Monday announcement speech in Waterloo, the town where she was born. I am here today in Waterloo, Iowa to announce we can win in 2012 and we will win. Now, at this point in the presidential cycle, Iowa always gets a lot of attention. And, Rebecca, there is a good reason for that. The state really has the power to take someone who might be seen as a long shot and propel them into national prominence. And for Michelle Bachman, Iowa is doing just that. Rebecca? CBS's Jan Crawford in Pella, Iowa. Thank you.